Cattle panels are a sturdy, quick, and easy method of vertical gardening. Chances are, if you do a search for DIY garden arches, they will suggest using cattle panels. The problem is, they are not readily available in all areas, especially if you live in Canada, and they are not readily transportable if you don't have access to a good size utility trailer. This video will show you how to build a simple, sturdy garden arch using rebar, electrical metal tubing, and chicken wire. Hello, this is Stephen from Short Season Garden, and I offer tips and tricks for gardening in any climate, but especially for short seasons like here in Zone 3 in Eastern Canada. So subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, give me a comment and a thumbs up on the video, and you can check me out on Facebook or Instagram at Short Season Garden. So my goal was to build an inexpensive, attractive, symmetrical arch between two raised beds to hold my Scarlet Runner beans. If you watch this video to the end, you will see how I improved upon my first design. I started out with two 10-foot sections of rebar, some half-inch PEX waterline, some chicken wire saved from a previous fencing project, and some cable ties. I had considered using electrical metal tubing or EMT conduit, but it was about three times the price of the water line, which I figured would be sufficient. I first saw the two pieces of rebar in half. I recommend using an angle grinder with a cutting blade. It is much easier and quicker than a hacksaw. My first inkling of trouble was when the PEX pipe did not want to slide onto the rebar. That problem was resol resolved with a bit of drilling in the end of the pipe. I cut some slats of wood into three foot lengths, the width of my chicken wire, to be used as reinforcements. In the end of each bed I placed two pieces of rebar three feet apart and firmly pushed them into the soil. To form the top of the arch, I shoved the end of the PEX water line onto the rebar in one bed and then bent it onto the top of the rebar in the other bed. So far, so good. I rolled out the chicken wire and cut it to length. Then I stapled slots of wood at each end of the fence and equidistant along the fence. Now I rolled up the completed fence and carried it over to where I was building the arch. The next part was a little awkward without a helper. I laid the rolled up fencing on one raised bed, taking care not to crush the tender plants, and firmly secured the end of the fence to the bottom of the rebar using cable ties. Then I worked the fence up over the frame, securing it with cable ties near each end of every wooden slat. I went back and put extra cable ties all along the frame, drawing the fencing tight to the PEX water line. My completed archway was fully functional and would have held my runner beans fine, but I was not at all happy with its appearance. I had weakened the ends with the drilling, and the inexpensive piping did not maintain a uniform curve under the stress of the fencing. So, back to the original plan, EMT Conduit. 
I revisited the YouTube channel of Backwood Basics where I had got my first hoop bender pattern back when I built the low tunnels for my carrots. This time I went for a more gradual curve since my rebar is 5 feet apart at the base. The chicken wire came off and the water line was repli replaced with the metal pipe. Unlike the PEX, the metal conduit easily slid down the rebar. In order to make sure that both ends of the hoop were the same height, I measured two feet up each section of rebar and placed a cable tie to keep the pipe from sliding further down. That left me needing 14 feet of fencing, 10 feet for the metal pipe, and 2 feet on each end for the rebar. To make sure the wooden slats were symmetrical, I stapled one at the exact center, 7 foot mark, and placed one halfway between the center and each end. I had learned from my first attempt with the PEX waterline that it would be much less awkward working alone if I secured the top center first. Then I worked my way down each side with the cable ties, using white this time instead of black so they would be less obvious. All that was left to do now was trim the ends off the cable ties and wait for the beans to grow. My trellis was not as wide as you would get with a cattle panel, but much less expensive and easier to obtain and transport. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and a comment, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you in the next video.